Her Majesty. Oh, sir. Give me that. Power to resist the demon of temptation. Alright. Put. Put that new quest. Grab the quest for oh oh they are here. The prince that we saved before. I even have confidence. I mean I have confidence in real life but not in game. Oh wait, I do. Right. Take it. Take my confidence. the other quest first. Who, sir? Farming days, what? Thing about Babana. Sorry, I'm just going through really fast. I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care about... Oh, he needs love. I have no love. Leave it. Hope. Now you are a believer. need the stamps so I can get more stuff. Yeah. You have love? Confidence. My confidence. Heaven's and strength to believe in oneself. Believe in yourself. Right. The way up here. Rich, give me, give me your brave heart. All of these heart, but I've got no love. All right, go meet her moo just be. You have returned. Now tell me, boy, have you located that handsome young man in the picture we so generously gave you? We have. And now Prince Marcusin's back to his old self. That picture of yours came in proper useful in the end, your majesty, even if you did only have it cause you had a crush on the poor lad. <laughs> you are most, we are most pleased to hear that you accomplished your aims. What brings you to us, pray tell? 
Your Majesty, have you heard of the Clarion? We have. Uh, we do take it that you require the aforementioned instrument. Is the time finally at hand? That's right, Your Majesty. We need it to cross the Miasma marshes. Abu! <laughs> you heard the young man fetch you know what this instant. Yes, most bountiful bovinity. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god, it's the holy wood. Amazing. <laughs> Guard that wood with your lives, won't you now? Who can say how long it'll take for another branch like that to grow? Thanks, your majesty. This means we can do battle with Shadar. Do you really do intend to face him? Tell us, are you familiar with the events of the Wizard Wars? Yes, Your Majesty, I heard something about them. The whole world was at war, wasn't it? It was most protracted and bloody affair, and at the end of it, only three kingdoms remained, Al Mamun, Ding Dong Del, and Hemlin. The three ruling families vowed then to keep the peace, and the Clarion served to symbolize their sacred pledge. But when the shadow of the Dark Jin fell across the world, our three kingdoms were driven into a, a simply frightful series of disputes. In retrospect, it is the most unfortunate that we did not for we did not join forces and make a new clarion back then. Join forces, Your Majesty? That's right, boy. Now, if we recall correctly, you have already visited each of the three kingdoms. That's right, Your Majesty. We are close personal friends with that big um cheeses in every kingdom. <laughs> it amuses us to think that a dear little boy should be the one to mend bridges between our kingdoms. Aww. Thanks, Your Majesty. Thanks, Your Majesty. We'd love to stay and chat, but this clarion won't make itself. Shall we head over to the next kingdom? We shall. Ding dong dell. Alright. Ah, fast travel. I love it. Amazing. It's been a long time. This is like the first uh, town that we went to. Oh, it's been so long. Oh. Bartender. My kindness now. Warmth as a gift of generosity. How oh, nice. Ooh. Money? Oh, just five. Five gold. Just five. Eighty. You have delicious fruit. Sounds delicious. Confidence. I have it. All right. That means we just go up. stuff around here. Flora, two years, blah blah blah. Leave. Mine. Take them all. It's courage, right? Confidence. Fine. What was it? Confidence, right? A 
I'll go out there and win that tug of war. Hold on to this for a while. Thing that makes the world go round. What? Off to see the Cat King, is it? Ah, this place really takes me back. It does. It's the first time we visited together, wasn't it? Listen, I'm sure you're enjoying your trip down memory lane, but haven't we got business to be taken care of? I hate to say it, but Swain's right. We need to complete the Clarion. That means getting this holy wood. But how? What's the matter? Don't tell me you've gone and dropped the flipping thing. I mean, I had it just a second ago. What? You're saying someone made off with it while you weren't looking? You'd know a thing about a two about it, wouldn't you? There you go, bringing up my ancient history again. Look, you're the one who lost it, don't go blaming me. I had it all this time, I swear. Stop fighting both of you. If it's missing, we have to find it and fast. <gasps> that one job! You have to carry that wood. How did you lose that chunk of wood? It must like weigh quite a bit too. <sighs> right, what is it? Courage. I have courage. Ah, games with their... Oh, I lost it. Oh, oh help me find my child. Like, how... Why... How did you lose your kid? Almost dead, two more. Enthusiasm. That doing like heart delivery. Free heart delivery. Right. Wait. Some more. Kindness. Ah. Right. Taking all my hearts. Yum yum, a cheeseburger. That's it. So, I check here. I think Horace, Horace, or something. Wait, where is he? Not here. The guy that, uh, the ghost boy. That gives us uh, spells and stuff, and he said he'll be at the spot where we first met. Then we meet there. He'll be here somewhere, I think.
don't want to go there yet. Um. Grab this and then we'll continue. Where is he anyway? Little green ghost boy. have here hey that's my wood you look quite worked up what's ruffled your feathers some dirty rotten thieves pinched our hold on a minute look over there holy boy it's the holy wood where did you find it sir is that what's caught your eye pretty isn't it i thought it would make a rather nice window display a flippin window display that's holy wood that is don't tell me you were planning on wedging weapons in it you were weren't you Mr. Quartermaster, sir, that holy wood is ours. It was stolen from us. Stolen, but I've only just bought it, and for a price that would make your eyes water. Don't tell me I've been rooked. Great so, man. Whoever sold it to you must have pinched it from us. Ah, I should have been more cautious. I did wonder how he could have come by such a valuable item. Do you know that person who sold it to you, sir? It was that young mouse, the one with the glasses. He's always coming around here hawking his wares glasses i never thought he was a thief no just because you say he's guilty that doesn't mean it's true if you want me to believe you you're going to have to bring me some proof but how can we do that there's only one thing to do ollie boy we're going to have to catch that mouse and get him to confess all right we'll get you your proof hold on to that wood okay how did someone just yoink that large piece of wood from us have you seen the mouse? What? I'm confused. Wait, what? Where's the star there? But, huh? Oh, I have to go down. Okay. Wait, but this goes up, not down. The staircase? No? Oh, it's up. Yeah, okay. It's you, mouse with glasses. Ah, so cute. Leave me alone. Oi, you little peep squeak. You're the one who tried to make a quick gilder selling the holy wood, weren't you? Squeak, how'd you find me? I'll never do it again. Honest, never ever. Oh, my name's not Pip. Pip, but why? What made you start stealing? I needed the money, didn't I? Not that it's any of your blinking business. How am I going to make my dreams come true if I'm broke, eh? Your dreams? That's... No excuse for stealing. What kind of dreams do you have anyway? Nice try, dum-dum. <laughs> you think I'm telling you? I know you'll just laugh at me for being a silly little mouse with big ideas. I wanna go to LA and become a singer. Damn it. Crikey. Bit blooming touchy, ain't we? There's no need to be so flippin' defensive, mouse face. No, we did just corner him, to be fair. Anyway, let's call her the little runt and head back to Quartermaster's shop, uh, store, shall we? Wait a second, you guys. Is it just me or does Pip really remind you of somebody? Who, the big rat that we fought? You mean he might share a soul with someone back in Motoville? Oh, is it our friend who who makes the cars and stuff? Uh, we won't laugh at you, I promise. Why should I? You can't tell me what to do. Why should I take orders from a big baby who sleeps with a stupid doll? What? Is that true, Oliver? No, I don't sleep with a doll doll anymore 
How grown up. I mean, how grown up of you. But I bet you still drag it around with you everywhere in case you get scared at night, you big baby. I do not. I don't sleep with a doll anymore. I stopped taking Mr. Drippy to bed almost a year ago. Oh. Ahaha, now you've done it, dum-dum. You all heard him, didn't you? I bet your girlfriend's really impressed now. Stop being mean. She's not my girlfriend and I don't sleep with a doll. Cut it out, will you? Stop quarreling with the mouse. You, you just call him Phil? That mangy mouse's name is Pip. I'm sorry, it's just... What is it? It sounds a lot like Phil when he's being mean. Blimey, you know what that means. I don't know what you're on about. All I know is you'll never catch me. <laughs> this rotten rodent is starting to get on my nerves. He's not making things easy for us, is he? What are we gonna do, Oliver? Took me a while to work it out, but there's no mistake. He can be kind of mean and real stubborn, but he's still my best friend. I'm talking about Phil. Tidy, I think we've got our man. Just show, just goes to show if you've got a big bully for a soulmate, he might just turn out to be a nasty piece of work too. I get it. Something must be going on with his soulmate to have made this mouse turn into a life of crime. Still kind of bad. It's been a while since I saw Phil. I hope he's okay. Okay, let's go see Philip in Motoville. Or that pressure. Oh. Right, get back to Motoville. It's been a while. Car. No car. Okay, okay. <laughs> mm. Ah, coffee so good. Oh. Oh, that's the best there. Oh, there are so many people who don't show up on the map. This one. That. Oh. Right up flower. This for one of the side quests. Oh, an audience. Hey, yeah, flowers, good as new. Hometown flower. Huh? Nice little pink flower. Okay, that's safe before we go in. Oh. Right there. Alright. Phil. Oh, it's you. Come to get even, huh? Or oh, what? All I wanted was to build an auto all on my own. Hot rod, faster and finer than any other. Here you did, Phil. It was what we both wanted. But my dream, it, it killed someone. Uh, it killed your mum. Don't say that, Phil. Don't ever say that. It wasn't your fault. I don't want to worry you, Ollie boy, but there's a funny look in your mate's eyes. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a big one. Philip's Nightmare, Void of Ambition. That big ambitions, huh? Oh. Oh, I 
forgot to change the skill. a stone at it. <laughs> It'll be fine. At least for this battle, it'll be okay. Easy. Ah, wonders what a little bit of training can do. It's all my fault. Flip and act. The poor lad's still heartbroken, broken hearted. You, really, you must really hate me, Ollie. Guess we're not friends anymore, huh? I never said that. You have been me. You should have been me in that car. Aww. Your mom would have never had to save you. That way, she'd still be alive. I can't think like that, Phil. It won't change anything. What was I thinking, trying to build a car? If I hadn't built that hunk of junk, n none of this would have happened. Still, this isn't what my mom would have wanted. She wouldn't want to see you like this. We were trying to make our dreams come true. We were trying to make the neatest car in the whole world, remember? Our dreams? Oh man, his eyes. Scary. Who cares? Oh! What? Why? <laughs> like, damn it! I killed your mom! <laughs> What? Then you listen to a word I said. Your mom's dead because of our dumb dreams. Ouch! Hey, punch Oliver. No, Oliver is so sweet. <laughs> um, my mom would never want us to give up, give up on our dreams. I just know it. You remember all those times you'd sneak into the car factory? Remember the old guy we made friends with there? The engineer? He told us all about cars, didn't he? And we promised him we'd make a car better than anything Motorville had ever seen. Sure, my mom used to tell us we had cars on the brain. We had cars on the brain? Whose brain? But when she heard us talk about our dream, it smiled. She never really got mad at us, did she? I remember. She wanted us to follow our dreams. I know she did. Follow our dreams. I know it's what my mom would have wanted. You can't give up on your dreams. I never. I didn't see this one coming, Ollie boy. It's your own heart that's making the locket gro glow. Your heart's brimming with ambition. I should have known. But what am I supposed to do? Can I really take a piece of my own heart? It can't hurt to try now, can it? And it'll make a change from borrowing from other folks. Go on, Mon. Give it a go. Right, here goes. Joint my own heart. <laughs> the impulse to strive for a better tomorrow. Ambition. Amazing. Jeepers creepers. <laughs> that sure felt strange. I guess that must be how all the people who helped us felt, huh? Nice one, Ollie boy. I told you I was worth a try, didn't I? Hold on, Phil. There's something I need to share with you. Take it. Ambition. What did you... What is this? I feel... Kinda of warm inside. I don't know what's wrong with me, Ollie. I just can't just can't stop crying and I feel all warm and fuzzy too. You know what that is, Phil? That's my mom trying to tell you something. She's telling you to never give up on your dreams. Never give up? That's right, and we don't wanna let my mom down, do we? So that means you have to keep keep on going, keep on chasing after our dreams. I can't let my mom down, I won't. You're right, Ollie. I won't give up. I won't give up on my dreams. On our dreams. That's a promise, Ollie. Phil! 
Did you say Mark? I'm Phil. I'm going to study hard and go to college. Then I'm going to build a car that's safe. A car people can rely on. You'll hold me to that, won't you, Ollie? Sure I will, Phil. I did punch my face, but it's okay. I'll just be swollen for a few days. It's not what you think. It's okay, really. If you wanna dress like a crazy, who am I to stop you? Now I got important things to do. See you around, kiddo. Huh? I didn't know if nabbing a nugget on your own of your own heart was gonna work. It looks like it worked fine, Mr. Drippy. Feels back to his old self. I've been waiting for ages. Where is he? Oh. He? What's wrong with him all, all of a sudden? Oliver, I've been waiting. Where were you? He, what are you doing here? This is my house? You mean peace here right now? It came right out of my house, but how did you get inside? I can open the door, any door I like. Listen, P, I'm not sure I understand. Who are you waiting for? You, silly. I've got something to tell you. Are you sure you'll be alright, whatever happens? Even if you find out the truth? The truth? I'm worried about you, Oliver. Are you sure you'll be alright? I'm not exactly sure what you're worried about, P. But as long as my friends are with me, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Good. No, oh, Oliver. What is it? I'll always watch over you. I will be watching. All the time. Thanks. So what did P have to say, Oliver? You only one heard what you said. She said she was worried about me, so I told her I had my friends with me and I was gonna be okay. Of course you are, Ollie boy. You've got the Lord High Lord of Fairies on your side, ain't it? And don't forget me. We've been through a fair few scrapes, but we are still going strong, aren't we? As if he'd forget you, Swain. Thanks, you guys. That means a lot. Now Phil's back to his old self. Let's go see Pip. Back to Ding Dong Dell. He scares me sometimes. Very... Very vague and very... I don't know, man. I liked her before, but after hearing her say all that, I'm like, hmm, kinda sus, kinda scary. What truth? I wanna know. Right. Go find that little rat. Is he like way up there again? Hmm. Free money? Yeah. It's five, but. No? Five is better than nothing. Alright. Talk with me. Eek! It's you! Look, I'm really sorry. That thing I stole, it was really important, wasn't it? Huh? What a flipping transformation, man. Looks like this mouse really is your pal's soulmate. The thing is, I've already sold it. I sell things to the local shopkeepers, you see. I just don't know what to do. Don't worry, Pip. Let's just explain to the shopkeeper what happened. Um, I'm sure he'll understand. I'm so sorry, Oliver. I'm oh so sorry. You're back, I see. And we've caught ourselves a thief. Come on, Pip Squid. Out with it. This piece of wood, it was me. I stole it. Stole it, a little chap like you? Confessed, didn't he? The mouse stole it and sold it to you, the rotter. I haven't spent any of the money, I promise. I'll give it all back to you. I sense that this item oh, is of some value to you and that its loss has caused you some distress. I hate to see it go, but I know where it belongs. Oh, good. You don't have to beat him up. Well, that's... Shorter then. We are lucky the shopkeeper wasn't in the mood to rook us. You know, Pip, I can't believe you turned yourself in and returned the money. And you call yourself a thief? I'm no thief, I'm telling you. It was just a moment of madness. I'm so, so sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. I mean it. Li <clears throat> I mean, listen, it's okay. We got it back in the end. I almost forgot. You said that your dreams had driven you to become a thief. 
That's right, I've got big dreams, but they don't come cheap. I need guilders and lots of them. Have you, have you ever heard of something called a cloud sweeper? Isn't that sort of a flying broom powered by magic? Not my kind of thing. Well, it's my kind of thing, that's for sure. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to build my own cloud sweeper. I want to build the fastest, bestest cloud sweeper in the whole world. Is it just me or does he really remind you of someone? Sure does. Say, Pip, building something that goes real fast is super neat, huh? Finally, someone who understands me. Thanks for taking the time to hear me out about my dreams. Now I need to save up some money, the honest way. Good luck, Pip. <coughs> Alright, got the wood. Let's woody out of here. Oh my god, a voice! Oh no! Oh no, it is peep! Peep, the peep squeak! Hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the cat, the meow justy. We will see the meow justy now. Oh, there he is. All his wonder. Alright, we need more uh, wood, I think. Good to see you again, your meow justy. Hmm, you have returned. How the devil have you been? One have been busy my busying my oneself with the rogue hickory meow. Rah, unless this one is very much mistaken, you come bearing holy wood of Al Mamun. That's right, want to ask a favor from you. No need to continue, dear girl. One knows precisely why you're here, so the Khalifa chose to entrust the holy wood to you. Seems the time has come to reunite the power of the three kingdoms. Now, dear boy, allow one to do one's royal duty. Oh, good. <laughs> what? Oh. Piece of carved holy wood. Good job. That was amazing. Yeah, well, surely you expected nothing less. Thank you, your majesty. It sure has been great seeing you, but we have to head to Hamlin now. So Marcus is up next. Here's hoping he's been practicing his carpentry. Why are you mumbling to yourself, Swain? You're off to Hamlin, hmm? Take care. It's a rather grubby place for one so very pure. Right? Go! Hamlin. The city of Hem. Mmm, delicious, delicious ham. Any other quest? Uh, not that one. Not the one on the left. I haven't went to get the items for that one. But... What about you? What oh, did What does she want? A restraint. should have a few bounties to claim. Wait, not you. Wrong shop. The look. Don't need anything from here.
So just go teleport. Because if I went to get the mission, then I have to walk all the way to the main street and I'm too lazy for that right now. Kinda far. Oh, but the guy's down there. Ah, <sighs> should've just walked. Oh well. What this? Mission. Don't think I have that. Yeah. I have enough for just one and I yoinked it from myself. Well, fine. Alright, off to see Marcusin. No quest, but I'm curious. Did find her. Oh. Lives better than ever. Very friend is correct. It would not speak on. Elegant feather that the royal guards of Xanadu wore, Alf and I each cherished ours. Oh. Hello, sir. Did you before? Sin. Feeling that I should save. Oh. Marcusin, we need you to finish carving something for us. Hypenak, someone didn't go to finishing school. Heard of the word, please? I do enjoy your visits. There is certainly liveliness you bring to every occasion. Now you mentioned carving something? Esther was talking about the clarion. That's right, we need you to help us finish it so we can clear a path across the miasma marshes. I see. Well, you have come to the right place. The clarion may only be completed by the ruler of Hamlin. But I am afraid there is a minor problem, namely that he does not possess all the skills required. How do you mean, your majesty? To complete the clarion, one must possess not only magical power but the talent to craft the necessary holes. While I may have the magical skills, I am unable to help with the more practical aspects of the process. So that's where Swain comes in. You're saying you're too clumsy to complete the clarion? It is not a matter of clumsiness, I assure you. The skills that are required are passed from Emperor directly to the, his heir. So your father passed away before he could teach you about this stuff, huh? Well then, we'll just have to go back in time and get him to teach you. Blinking heck, you make it sound so flippin' easy. You only get to use breach time once in a lifetime, remember? You're right. Well then, what do we do? Aren't you forgetting someone? <laughs> Rain, do you mean... Did he... I can't promise miracles, but father did teach me a few things, yeah. <gasps> oh, did he come from this kingdom too? Only you never mentioned. Alright, alright. I just didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Rakusin's my brother and my near real name's Gascon. There, I've said it. Esther, how did you not know? Oh, that? We knew that already. We were there, you know. Then why are you so hell-bent on getting me to admit it? Anyway, we can discuss the whys and wherefores later on. The point is, my father taught me what I need to know. You're telling us this now. If you'd let us know a bit earlier, we wouldn't have to head... Wouldn't have to come all the way to Hamlet now, would we? 
I'm afraid it's not that simple. I can't do the magic part, you see? They've been hacked, so you're no use to us either, is it? You combine fusion. So you know what I'm getting at, do you? I suppose it's not all, not all that bad having a brain box of a great sage for a brother. I'm not sure I understand. What cannot be done alone may yet be done together. Is that not so, brother? I get it. You're going to make it together. Exactly. Now give it here. Get to me. You ready, Marcusin? We've got work to do. Yes, brother. I am ready. The Clarion. Now we can finally clear a path to Shadar's castle. Thank you, Your Majesty, and you too, Sweden. Don't worry about thanking me, but how long is it since we last made something together, Marcusin? Do you remember the model pig tank we made together? Ugh, a blooming pig tank. That's the last pigging thing I want to be reminded of. You'll hear no arguments from me on that score. Let's focus on the task at hand. Clearing the Miasma marshes. The Claron looks so beautiful. I can't wait to hear how it sounds. I think you should be the one to play it, Esther. Only boy's right. If you ask me, there ain't no better woman for the job. I mean, I'd love to do it, but I'm tone deaf. I'll do it. I'll play the clarion and clear a path through the Miasma marshes. I truly believe you will, Esther. Thank you, Your Majesty. Get going. Time to head to Miasma marshes. I'm not sure if it's Miasma or Miasma. Miasma. Asthma. My asthma sounds like my asthma. My asthma is starting up again. Where do I? Um. Am I here? I don't remember. There. Didn't see it on the map. Oh. Not here. There. Ah, close by. Alright. Gotta fly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right there. Why then up? Here. That. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Guess they want us to cross here. have to go through here, huh? Is that the way? The true Perdida. That was a good crack. Oh. Alright, yeah. Through here. Let's see. Baba Naflen. Poor girl. Or Oh. Still don't I don't have a snow reddish. Oh well. Everybody wants ambition. F Is there anything else I wanna buy? Or go?
pretty good but i don't really use those back there four four eight that's accuracy though like something what is accuracy right now be okay right it's still 100 can always change out of it wouldn't like it not bad go for magic one Wait, what's this? Hmm. I, think I have another one of this. Full compress, which I don't have. Oh, this is the one that wants the flower. Good. Right, I'm gonna stop by here real fast and check the bounty stuff. I've only done one. I had more. Alright, we have three now. We can get this. Because if I were to die in battle, I'll just restart the game. I'm not gonna lose my money. Check the board. Quite a few more. Wait. Be good. Go. All right. Oh, that's a treasure. Ah. Treasure first. Bottle of pixie dew. Confidence, right? Oh no, it's ambition. Lots of people want ambition. Hot in the market right now. The guy below. Wanted it right. Drop it off here real quick. Ooh. Have all the ambition. Push forward. You love your alpacas. Alpaca master. Again, gotta save a lot because there is no auto save.
upi. Hear me, run away from me. Very scary looking tree. Oh. My asthma marshes in the most welcoming place in the world. I can hardly see light from my own flipping lantern. Here goes. Working. おまえに預けていたな。ええ、すべてはこの邪神の魂。<笑> I'm curious. I wanna see too. <笑>人々の心を譲り受け与えるもの悲しみの世を救うべしやはりお前がそうなのかでは見せてもらおうお前自身の心の力をな<笑> <お前自身の心の力をな。笑> Oh, oh. 